a modern boat, a modern light, but an age-old tradition. It's a different world under this lake. On a May night, Greg Johnson and a few others drifted on a northern Wisconsin lake, looking for bright eyes. It illuminates the uh, bottom of the lake, and what happens is the walleye's eyes will refract. That's how you can tell what it is. His people have hunted those bright eyes for centuries. Oh, put the move on me. In the Ojibwe language, walleye are oga. On this night, Johnson was off to a slow start. Yeah, these fish on this lake, man, they're all spooked. But that didn't last long. There's a walleye right there. Oh. Johnson and the boat driver had a quota for 20 oga each. The Ojibwe name for Lac de Flambeau is Waswagen. Waswagen means a place where they hunt with uh, torches. That's what we were known for. We still do that today. We, we hold on to our culture in Lac de We're very proud of that. Johnson is one of about 500 spear fishermen in Wisconsin, a small fraction of the state's 2.5 million anglers. Well, sometimes we have people say things like, you know, you guys can't advance. It's unfair for native people to use a boat in a bright halogen light. But we're like, well, you guys have fish finders and you have all this. And why is the only your race able to uh, move forward, not us, you know? Johnson has been shot at more than a dozen times while spearing. The harshest punishment ever given out was a fine and a mandatory apology letter. And this is a good bar here, Carl. What are we at now? 17. 17? Yeah, go back on this bar here. It's important to keep an accurate count of the fish. Three. If Johnson goes over his limit, he'll get a citation. Five. Because when he heads in for the night, he's met by a member of the Great Lakes right. Indian Fish and Wildlife Commission. Male. 14.1. Who will count and identify every fish. Detailed notes are taken for every lake, because once a lake reaches its quota, spearing there stops until next season. There's charts, there's numbers, there's science, you know, we're not out here to overharvest anything. And spearing is only one part of the tradition. Johnson will bring back the fish to Lac de Flambeau. His harvest will feed his family, his elders, and other tribal members. We have an opportunity to do what our ancestors did. Reporting in northern Wisconsin, Dan Hagen, Newswatch 12.